I'm quite proud that Edith Cowan University is the only university in Australia named after a woman. And I'm particularly pleased it should be Edith Cowan. So she was, I would say, um, the most important woman in the late 19th, early 20th centuries in Australia because she was the first woman ever elected to an Australian parliament of any kind. But if you look at what she stood for, what she did, her, her work for, for women, her work for children, her work for um, soldiers coming back from the war, all of those things showed a huge social conscience, a huge uh, belief in social change and improving the lot of the human condition. And if that's not what a university is for, I don't know what it is for. She had tremendous courage, this woman. I mean, she was just so far ahead of her time because she advocated for not just, you know, why is it important for women to have a voice and be heard, but that it was a need, a requirement. So she saw back then that this wasn't tokenistic. This was actually about making the world, societies, a better place. ECU strives to be a beacon for gender equality. And so given that we are named after Edith Dirksy Cowan, and given that we are the only university in Australia named after a woman, that's why it's so important for us that that is the case, because we want to be known for challenging the boundaries. Well, it's inherent. She was our first female parliamentarian. Um, but because of that and the things she did before, while and after she was in parliament, she gave opportunities to a lot of Australians that didn't have those opportunities, whether it was uh, the women's suffrage movement or the things that she did for children and particularly around the family, she made Australia better for Australians. And any time we make any Australian better, we make Australia better. And I, I, I believe that wholeheartedly. And so therefore, any person that has done that for us here in Australia is important. I think it's her passion for education and how she actually could see that education is so important for the whole country and for not only for each individual but for the whole country and the development of the country. Look I think she she was in to so many dimensions of life and I think her attentiveness to single mothers for example I mean she really um, I suppose she went into places that a lot of people um, might have gone. There were a lot of women that helped women back then. There are now, of course, as well. But she was able, I suppose, because she acquired power to be able to do more. And so to go on to boards, um, to go on to, uh, to do the practical work. I think that's what really interested me. I mean, for example, you know, in the war, um, she also did fundraising that was um, going to help the soldiers and, and help generally. So she was she was active but also did the it seems to me she did the, the behind the scenes, the policy work, the, the necessary grueling, gritty work and I think that is something to be really admiring of, yeah.